Well, shit the bed. There's a cow in the road. It's not something you see every day, is it? I'm so tempted to try and slap it on the ass on the way past. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> He's looking at me like I'm such a cub. Uh, worth it. To be honest, I'm lucky I didn't get booted off my bike. That was a stupid idea. But it felt good. Got a handful of ass. Nice, tweet ass. It's good. It's good. So as you may have guessed, the RR is gone. It's on to new places to meet new people and do new things. And this is my new bike. I've gone and bought myself a 2013 Street Triple R. This is the ABS model. The optional extras that I decided to go for were the belly pan and the fly screen. Personally, I agree with Mr. Orca GT. I don't think the bike can really pull it off without those. I think it looks a bit odd. I'm still not entirely sure that I think the front end is all that good looking anyway, but it is growing on me. Why, you ask? And um, the simple answer is, this is just as much fun as the RR, if not more. It's just as quick, maybe ever so slightly less. But it does so much more. It's more comfortable, it's easier to ride, it's more practical, it does more MPG. I would go as far as to say, quite possibly the ultimate street bike right now. I was so impressed with it that I just had to buy one. I, I adored the bike that much that I needed to have one. The brakes on these things are mentally good. They're extremely light. They're very, very flickable. And I realized that not all of you will appreciate a bike like this. It's not your style. It's not your kind of thing. Just like the Bonneville didn't really do it for me, this might not do it for you. And fair enough, everyone's got their own thing but I still think you should take one of these out. I really do. So I'm, I'm still in the break-in period. I've had this bike for two days. I've done about 30 something miles. Let's have a look. 32 miles. So again, the question, why? Why did you buy this? Well, I've landed myself a new job, as I mentioned in a previous video, which keeps me on the Isle of Wight. So I'm now commuting into town. And this is just 10 times better. It's more comfortable. It's more practical. It's easier to handle. It's an all-round better town bike. So what mods have I got planned for this bike? Well, the obvious changes that I've done already is to remove the mirrors and I fit my bar end mirror which I think makes this bike look 10 times more angry. It looks more like a street fighter now. Um, also, CNC levers, because I despise standard levers. I hate them. What else did I do? The tail tidy, because you need to put the tail tidy on any bike, because just do it. Also, I have an exhaust, but I'm not going to fit it until it's had its first 500 mile service, just in case it messes with the AFR in any shape or form. And for those of you that aren't familiar, that's the air fuel ratio. If you have too much fuel going through a new engine, it can suffer from something called bore wash. And that's really not what you want. That will fuck your new engine big time. And the break-in period does suck. There's no denying that it sucks. The main reason really that I bought the RR, I mean on top of the fact that I thought it was gorgeous and I just kind of had to have it. Pretty much the rapist mentality. And all my friends have sport bikes. So it was just kind of, you know, you fit in with the crowd and you, you just do what's kind of normal, if you like. And it wasn't until I rode one of these that I really discovered that you can have just as much fun, if not even maybe more, fun and be more comfortable at the same time. What's not to like about that? There are things this bike does or aspects with regard to this bike that I'm not so keen on. 
course, it's nothing is perfect to everybody, and it just doesn't happen. Uh, and I'll go into that a bit more detail once I've had the bike for a little bit more time. But rather than just like a first impressions video, which aren't really all that helpful to everybody, you really need to hear about a bike from an owner's perspective, someone who's used it every day, or at least a lot. Someone who knows the bike intricately can really give you a lot more valuable information. Little tidbits of things that you might not consider that uh, someone doing a first impressions video wouldn't even think about mentioning. So for instance, the shifting light. Fucking great, love it. I love having a shifting light. It's amazing, massively helpful. But those LED lights are bright as fuck. So they light up your big dumb face, like big time. They bathe you in this bright blue light. So if you're riding in the evening or at night time and you're speeding, this thing flashes you up in blue. Bright blue, by the way, is extremely easy to see. I noticed it the other day when I was riding home from work on the demo R. I was like, God damn, this thing's lighting me up like a fucking Christmas tree while I'm doing some speed, you know? Sorry, I'm going to do a lot of shitty gear changes because lugging uh, a new engine is really, really bad. You don't want to do that. And for those of you that aren't aware of what lugging is, lugging is when your revs drop so low that the engine kind of goes, uh, 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 kind of stutters a bit because the RPM is too low. That's extremely bad news for a new engine. You don't want to do that. So I'm more than happy to look like a fucking douche if it means the health of my engine is better. I can't even begin to explain to you, to you how good these bikes are. You just have to ride one and find out for yourself. They're insane. I, I don't miss the RR at all. Haven't even given it a second thought. And I'm not about to start dissing the RR because it was an amazing bike, man. I loved owning it. It was fantastic. I'll tell you one thing. These bikes will get you in trouble because they're so goddamn talky that, um, well, I'll, sh I'll show you, right? I'll show you. So we're, in a, we're on a 30 limit road, okay? And I'm at a standstill. First gear. I'll show you what I mean as soon as this fucking light changes. Okay, first gear. I'm going to give it moderate acceleration, right? Nothing mental. I'm doing 35 already. That's how talky these bikes are. They're dangerous, man, because the amount of time you get used to when you're riding, you get used to the amount of time it takes to reach a certain speed rather than necessarily listening to the revs or watching the speedo and the RR would take longer with the same amount of throttle than this does so I hit the speed limit a lot quicker on this and I need to be wary of that excuse me another bonus finally now my gear matches my bike <laughs> so obviously I bought the pearlescent white which is a stunning color a stunning color Pardon me, in the sunshine, it's got this beautiful blue pearl and metal flake in it. It's a gorgeous colour. And obviously the R has red accents and my leather gear is all black, white and red. So, boom! Convenient right there. But also, big thanks to DS Carl 88, my mate that I went out with on the Bonneville. He came round Saturday and helped me fit the tail tidy. And by the way, they put red Loctite on the mirror bolts. Holy balls, one of them broke my ratchet. It was so fucking tight. <laughs> it broke the teeth in my ratchet. So why are these knob jockeys riding scooters on the wrong side of the road? Asking for trouble, man.